Hey you guys, welcome back to my channel. It's Amani Jelena and I'm here with another banger for you, okay? So in this video, we are going to discuss my surgery and uh, some of the questions that I have received about my surgery. Who did my surgery? Do I regret my surgery? All that good stuff. And on top of that, I'm also gonna go ahead and show you guys my results as well. So the first thing that we're going to talk about is where I got my surgery and who did my particular surgery. So my surgery was done at Seduction Cosmetics in Miami and it was done by Dr. Abir Sawa. The price of my particular surgery, um, and in case you guys don't know, I did get a Brazilian butt lift along with Lipo 360, a tummy tuck along with muscle repair as well. And uh, the total cost for that particular surgery that I paid was $10,000. Now, something that I would recommend for any dolls out there that are interested in cosmetic work, particularly like a Brazilian butt lift, a tummy tuck, something along those lines, make sure that you have extra money, uh, especially if you don't live in, in state, like if you guys know, if you're a true subscriber, you guys know that I live in Chicago, so of course I had to travel all the way to Miami, and that is in a, is expensive in itself i did stay in miami for a total of eight days i arrived in miami two days prior to my surgery um just so i can get the car rental taken care of so i can get the hotel uh, accommodations all that good stuff um so some of the expenses that i did pay for aside from the ten thousand dollars was a car rental for eight days a hotel stay for eight days and i wanted a hotel that had a suite uh like a like a kitchen in it so that um, that I can cook my own meals and have a refrigerator and all that good stuff. Along with that, I needed expenses to just live, so to eat, um, gas money, all that good stuff. And then along with massages. So I do get regular massages, even currently in Chicago. So if you guys do need a, a uh, not a masseuse, but um, a massage lady, I don't know what to call them, but someone who really specializes in aftercare, post-op care, um, I'll leave her information below. She has her own suite. She's amazing. She's, uh, she's amazing. Okay. But you need additional money to have all the massages. So far, I want to say I had maybe 12 to 14 massages. Each massages runs around a hundred to $115. So just make sure if you guys are going to have surgery that you do have additional money put up for anything that can happen. So, so far, uh, regarding the surgery and then the aftercare I along with the expenses to fly to Miami and back and all that stuff the car rentals all that stuff I've paid close to about 14 to 15 thousand dollars for this particular surgery uh, for those of you who just wanted kind of like a rough estimate uh, regarding how much money that I've spent so far now as far as my pain level goes I'm not in any pain now really not much at least and i'm going to be honest with you throughout this whole process i never was in any pain it's just a lot of discomfort and a lot of you know like um just my body reacting to the new changes and because of the tummy tuck my skin on my belly is it, it it was extremely tight it has loosened up a little bit since then so it hindered me from being able to move certain ways do certain things and all that stuff a lot of people have questions about how I sleep because I did get a BBL and tummy tuck together. So, you know, you're not supposed to be on your belly and then you're not supposed to be on your butt. What, how did I do it? So basically, um, I ordered an avocado float. If you guys don't know what an avocado float is, I'll post a quick picture right here for you. And that is what I thought I was going to be laying in and sitting in and comfortable in for the first few weeks after surgery. But no, it did not. I hate that thing. Okay. So how I actually slept, uh, I f literally just slept directly on my belly. I put two pillows underneath me to kind of keep me elevated and kind of keep me at a hunch. Uh, and I slept like that for a few weeks. Honestly, I still currently do sleep like that. I still sleep on my belly, but now I've gotten, oh, I became a little comfortable switching over on my hips and stuff like that. For those of you who want to know how far along that I am currently as of today, I am almost seven weeks uh so in four days i'll be seven weeks post-op um from the day i got my procedure now do i regret my surgery or anything like that 
One thing that I will say is being on social media and all of these surgery groups and things like that, it makes you feel like maybe she could have took more fat or maybe she could have added more fat or maybe she could have did that. It, from watching all these beautiful women on all these surgery groups, it, it, it messes with your head. So this surgery thing has definitely been an up and down thing. Some days I wake up and I'm like, oh my gosh, I am slaying, okay? And then other days I wake up and I'm like, oh, my booty looks different or my stomach looks different. And it's really just in my head. But do I regret my surgery? Absolutely not. This was the best decision that I have ever made. I promise you, best decision that I've made. And as for all the surgeries that I've ever had pertaining to just my body alone, uh, I did have weight loss surgery in 2017 and I got a vertical sleeve gastrectomy. And then in 2021, which is of recent, this is when I had a BBL tummy tuck because I did lose a, uh, lose uh, close to 100 pounds. So I did have a lot of excess skin on my belly and um, my butt was extremely deflated. Okay, I had no type of booty and I'm gonna leave a picture somewhere just to show you guys that I was shaped like a big refrigerator, a flat back with a big stomach. And you know, I, that just wasn't the look that I wanted for myself. So I did go ahead and have this particular procedure. Now, I don't want this video to be too long. So if you guys do have any additional questions for me, I will make a part two to this video. So just leave them in the description box and I'm here to answer any questions that you guys have regarding post-op care. Um, uh, you know, any other questions that you feel I did not answer within this video or detailed questions that you want, just leave them in the comment section. I'll definitely get to it, but I know all of you guys are waiting for this, so I'm going to show you guys exactly how I look now. I've changed a lot since surgery, so I will say for, for the ladies who are having this... That's my son, you guys here. But I will say for the ladies who are interested in having this surgery, don't look at your right after surgery body because it changes my body has changed so freaking much since seven weeks ago when i had the surgery but instead of me rambling i'm going to go ahead and show you guys but thank you guys for watching this video definitely subscribe i will have some try on hauls coming i will have a lot of additional um bbl talks uh body positivity talks <laughs> <laughs> and you guys will be able to be updated with me throughout this healing journey that I am still currently going through. But, um, yeah, let me just show you guys. Hold on one second. <laughs> Get out the way. Can I record this video, please? Can I finish? Can I finish? <laughs> Strong, so I brought my spinach. These niggas try to fake beef and they.